What's up everybody, my name is Blaze Tiger, back with another video, and today we are looking at the 721 update notice. By now, we all know the next event that's coming to Global is the Attack on Titan event. I, for one, am very excited for it, um, and I will be putting out a video of me doing the summons trying to get these three characters here. Um, so, the characters that will be on the banner. SSR Titan Form uh, Aaron Yeager, SSR Greatest Soldier Levi, SSR Greatest Soldier Mikasa, and then the SR version of Aaron, and that's just talking about the banner. And then there's the costumes that will be out for uh, purchase for the characters, and then new bundles that will be out there. So you have the special bundle 1 and 2, guaranteed SSR bundle. I believe this one gives you one of, the, um, one of these three here. So if you want to, if you're interested in buying that, then you know you can go and use them to get one of these characters. Uh, and then you have the upgrades for the both of the characters, and then awakening an awakening bundle to help you out if you're short. I mean, I wouldn't um, persuade anyone to buying this. You know, I wouldn't tell anyone to go ahead and do that because I'm pretty sure this is like a $7.99 pack. But hey, if you do, then you do, and you know that's your choice. Uh, engraving. New heroes with engraving will be the new Aaron, Mikasa, and Levi. I believe other characters deserve your resources when it comes to engraving. I wouldn't put my resources into these three. But again, if that is what you want to do, it is your choice. It is your account. You do what you got to do. And then we have some system updates here. Uh, let's see, percentages with less than five decimal points were rotted up. As such, all percentages percentages added together may not equal, uh, I'm sorry, not equal, like not exactly equal 100% before. Okay. okay, so there's that. And then this here talks about the um, death match, is an update to the death match on how inv invitation goes out. So you can select who. You send invites to friends or everyone that's available at the time, or you could turn on for you know turn everything on, which will turn everything on. Uh, you can select which difficulty you'll be sending the invitation out for. So normal, hard, extreme, or the uh, red, gray, and crimson demon. And then of course with the event, we will be having this Colossus Titan. Titan uh raid event where i believe it's four characters so you including three will be four and you guys dish out as much damage as you can to defeat this guy right here also another uh what just happened i'm sorry another thing that's they're coming out with which i really like is the organization of the recipes so you guys know like now when we go into the cooking menu how sometimes we just don't know or we haven't memorized which cooking which cooking uh, item does what so now you're able to uh, it tells you automatically because they have it in the category here which is pretty dope so you know these three are for attacks you know these three are for defense you know these three are for HP combat class so forth and so on and then here you can select which ones you want so uh, you can organize it if you're just looking for the attack one you can click on it and then bam go straight to it and you're done which is pretty which is pretty neat it's a fast way you know any gotcha game that makes it uh, quick and easy for you to move around the menu it's a good uh, that's a good um, upgrade to the system here I'm not a hundred percent I can't remember a hundred percent how this worked generally anyway because uh, I don't I mean, I should do it, but I normally don't always do it. But I believe before this, this, and this wasn't here. So you had just, you clicked on the item that you wanted and you just continue to click, tap on the specific item to boost this up. So now, instead of doing that, you click on this one time and then you can either max it out or you can use the minus or plus uh, buttons. Which is a you know cool little addition there, and the chat menu. If you're someone that chats a lot on the game, you're able to view the um, individual person's information, so forth and so on. Here, it talks about what you can do with block uh, block messages and so forth and so on. 
here is just more chat settings and then here the constant patrol so this is something that you know on top of these uh, missions here that you can dispatch your units for is something that you can do throughout the day you can get XP potions uh, the redstones for uh, upgrading your equipment and money I would suggest everyone use to select the money one as much as you can because we all know leveling up equipment can be a pain because of all the money and equipment stones it takes to do it Alright, this just talks about how this how the constant patrol works, get rewards automatically over the set period of time. So you know, that just gives you an example there. Auto clear ticket. Auto clear tickets unlock condition changes before okay. Da, da, da. okay. Right, quick menus. Okay. So here now. If you're like me, sometimes you're looking for a specific character and you just keep scrolling up and down, up and down, up and down, and you're missing them now you're able to favorite the character so you can go into your organization menu and hit favorites and all of your favorites will show up so you're able to find them a little faster okay and now when you go into the villages now instead of just using the thing that they had here oh yeah this right here you're able to just select the amount of gold you want to donate to that specific village so that's pretty cool and now we have some PvP um, updates like uh, weak point getting a little buff here so it was 60% before and now it's 80% so they're updating some of the um, they're buffing some of the um, abilities like weak point uh, recovery and so forth and so on as you can see here alright so you know you guys want to take a look um, you can pause the video, take a look and see who gets, you know, what gets buffed up and how it gets buffed up. For example, before it inflicts damage equal to 220% of attack on one enemy. Now it's 220% and then it disables recovery skill for one turn. So it actually says that within the skill. So, you know, there's that. Then last thing here. Units being, well, unit being added to the coin shop will be the Molescula of Fate. I don't remember. Is that both of them or just one? Not 100% sure if both of them will be um, going to the coin shop. We'll have to see once they drop. And then these are some characters that are going to the pool, the draw pool, trials for the SSR, um, part one tickets. So there's the Holy Night the end. And, oh, whoop, just just one person. Okay, just the DN. And then new titles. So that's basically it. Um, we should be receiving that. The update should be done by one. Let's see, where was the time? Uh, I swore it told me that this. That's it. I swore it told the time of when the update starts. Um, not, yeah, it should be one in the morning, my time. Um, so once that's done, I will be doing a summoning and I will be dropping a video. Hopefully I do get lucky enough to pull at least a copy for both of them. Or I'm sorry, for all three characters. And depending on how it goes, it depends on if I want to 66 these characters or not. Hopefully their banners have other units on there that I need or are, uh, you know, worth summoning for. But we'll just have to wait and see. So that's all for this one guys don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when i upload my next video i'll catch you guys on the next one